And then when they don't want her favor, the polls stink and nobody knows what they're talking about. She just works harder and she comes back better. That the decisions that a president makes mean whether or not somebody gets a job out there. It means whether a veteran's getting the right care or not. It means whether a soldier is going to be put in harm's way or not. It knows what it means to parents trying to make ends meet. Or a worker at the plant, whether that plant stays open or, or a student who's trying to go to college for the first time. Or a young person who's brought to this country as a baby and now just wants to contribute to the only home she's ever known. Nobody knows they need a champion. And, and she has concrete plans to do what she promises. She's thought it through. And she values hard work and she respects working Americans. And she'll be a commander in chief who finishes the job of defeating ISIS. And she will be a smart and steady president of the United States. But, you, you know, I, look, I, I just want to be honest with you. Because she's been out there for so long, sometimes in this culture, you know, we always want to see the new shiny object. And, and if you get beat up enough in this, in this political environment that's so toxic, after a while, people start believing stuff. I, 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 Hillary Clinton is, is consistently treated differently than just about any other candidate I've seen. Out there. And as I said, some of it is she's just been around a long time, so people kind of, they just believe whatever's said by the other side in their systematic attacks, and it wears on people's attitudes. And over time, they go, well, maybe, no, 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 do not believe that stuff. Has she made mistakes? Of course, so have I. There's nobody in the public arena over the course of 30 years that doesn't make something. But she is a fundamentally good and decent person who knows what she's doing and will be an outstanding person. And, and by the way, I just want to say to the guys out there, I want to be honest. You know, there's a reason why we haven't had a woman president before. And I think that sometimes, you know, we're, we're kind of trying to get over the hump. And, and, and we have to ask ourselves as men, because I hope my daughters are going to be able to achieve anything they want to achieve. just my equal, but my superior. And I want to have every man out there who's holding to kind of look inside yourself and ask yourself, well, how, if, you're, if you're having problems with this stuff, how much of it is, you know, that we're just not used to it? So that, you know, like, like you know, when, when a guy's ambitious and out in the public arena and working hard, well, that's okay, but, but when a woman suddenly does it, suddenly you're like, well, why is she doing that? I'm just being honest. I want you to think about it because she is so much better qualified than the other guy. She has conducted herself so much better in public life than the other guy. That this notion of, that somehow, oh, you know, it's this hard to choose. It shouldn't be. And by the way, not only do we need to elect Hillary Clinton, but she, she's going to need allies. Allies like Ted Strickland in the United States Senate. Because, because here's a guy, here's a guy who we know believes in protecting overtime pay. So people get paid what they earn. Believes that workers should have the right to bargain for better pay and benefits. 
He's running against the guy who helped strip overtime for six million workers. Back to bill that would make it harder for workers to organize. Ted has always stood for working people. In 2016, he believes that women should get equal pay for equal work. It's a safety measures like background checks and keeping assault weapons out of the hands of terrorists. His opponent, his opponent blocked background checks and opposed the bill to just stop people on the terror watch list from buying a gun. And by the way, if you see these ads out there saying Hillary trying to take your guns away, it is not true. It is a lie. Let's just call it what it is. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's, I'm not saying it's mischaracterization. It is a lie. And by the way, there's one more big difference between Ted Strickland and Rob Portman, and that is Ted never supported Donald Trump. Ted's opponent was formed. Then you kind of looked at the polls and said he was against it. You don't know what he's going to do this week. But you know what? You don't get credit for that. Being a leader is about doing the right thing when it's hard, not when it's easy. It's about doing what's right even when it costs you most. That's one reason I'm so proud of Michelle right now. She doesn't love politics. It wasn't her first choice for a family. But she's been working her heart out for Hillary. And it's because not only does she believe in Hillary, but she also knows our kids are watching this election. And when she sees the way Trump behaves, she knows that should not be an example we set for our kids. She knows there's something fundamental at stake that, that, that goes beyond plans or policies. And that's the character of our country. Will we teach our kids to treat women as objects, or as full and equal citizens capable of doing anything man does? And then so. Will, will we teach our kids to, to vilify immigrants, or people with disabilities, or Americans who practice different faiths? Or, or will we say that out of many, we are one, that we're stronger together than we could ever be apart? <laughs> will we teach our kids that politics is just a way to pitch a new hotel or a golf course or a TV contract? Or show them that public service in this democracy is a noble call? That it gives us a chance to promote opportunity and justice and the common good. That's what Hillary believes in. Her Methodist creed taught her, do all the good you can, for all the people you can, in all the ways you can, as long as ever you can. She believes that we can summon what's best in each of us and make the country a little bit better for all of us. And that's what this election's about. I can tell you honestly that as hard as this job is sometimes, as frustrating as it sometimes is, you, you do this job for a while and, and, and your love for this country just grows and grows and it becomes so profound because you, you, this is a place like no other. It is founded on an idea that all of us are created equal. That you don't have to be born in a world or privilege. That you don't have to look a certain way or have a certain last name to have a chance to make a difference. That's what drove patriots to choose revolution over tyranny. That's what led GIs like my grandfather to help liberate a continent. That's what 
allowed women to, to reach for the ballot and, and march us to cross a bridge itself. And organizers here in Ohio to organize for better wages and better working conditions. That's what makes it America acceptable. We've always had the opportunity to make this country great by working hard even with others. And it's not about what somebody else will do for us, it's about what we can achieve together. And sometimes it's slow and sometimes it's frustrating. But this idea of self-government, that's what makes us different. But it, it means we've got responsibilities. It means we don't treat elections like a reality show. It means that we pay attention. It means that we try to lift up folks who actually know what they're talking about and have shown throughout their careers that they care. And that's who Hillary is. She knows that in this democracy, in a big, diverse country like this, we don't demonize each other constantly. She knows that progress sometimes requires compromise, even when you're right, even when you're 100% right. She knows that none of us are perfect, not even presidents, but we should try to conduct ourselves with the same honesty and decency and generosity that we try to do with our friends and our neighbors and our coworkers and our family, she knows that, and she will continue the progress that we made these last eight years, but she needs our help. And she needs you not just to vote for her, but she's got to have a Republican Congress that behaves a little bit better than the Congress we got right now. They don't just block a raise in the minimum wage. They don't just block an infrastructure bill that would put people back to work. They don't just block immigration reform. They don't just vote 60 times to take health insurance away from 60 million Americans. They can't even pass their own stuff. All they offer, all they offer is gridlock and obstruction and no. That's all we see out of. They threaten to shut down the government when they don't get their way. They threaten to wreck the economy when they don't get their way. They've given up on their own nominee, but they start promising even more unprecedented gridlock in Washington before we've even had the election. They didn't work with me, even though we were in the midst of a possible Great Depression when I came into office. They're sure as heck not going to work with Hillary now some are already talking about years of investigations, years of hearings, more shutdowns, more obstruction, more repeal votes. Some are already saying they want to appoint a nice Supreme Court justice, boasting of their refusal to compromise as if that's an accomplishment. How does that help you? If you're a working man and a woman out there, how does that help you? If you're a single mom out there trying to figure out how to pay the bills, how does that help you? If you're a student trying to finance your college education, how does that help you? All this does is prevent what most Americans would consider actual accomplishment. Fixing roads, putting people back to work, cleaning our environment, reforming immigration, educating our kids, keeping them safe. It would prevent us from getting that stuff done. That's all they're standing for right now. So if you think a vote for gridlock is a good vote, then you should vote for public. But if you think America can do better, if you care about creating jobs that families can live on, child care they can afford, equal pay,